Hello everybody! Welcome back to the shop and how to build an F-14 Tomcat. So, uh, you see the fuselage molds? Still there. There's nothing stacked on top of it though. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to take the fuselage molds outside, wash all the wax and PVA off, and start prepping them with the, the free coat mold release system. So, uh, once all that is prepped and ready to go, I'm gonna prime them and they'll be ready for a layup once I can get the all the materials and the fundage for the materials. Whew! So, uh, what's new? GB's there. It's ready. Well, ready for more primer. Horton mold. It's done. I got an old set of wing panel, or an old wing panel on top of it. So, long story with that one. Anyway, if you want a Horton kit, they're ready to go. We got the mold sitting there. We got most of the supplies for one more. So if you want one, talk to me. We want to make some money so I can keep going with this thing. So if you're wondering what this stuff is, yep, F 14 parts. Vertical stab. Uh, they're all getting sucked down right now. So here's three of the halves. There's the fourth half, and then there's a the little NACA duct portion of the fairing is also in there so vertical stabs are getting done finally I gotta order some carbon tubes and rods for the for the spar system that attaches these things but other than that I've got everything to at least finish this stuff except for that carbon rod stuff <coughs> fuselage talked about um, I don't, I've, I've been having a hard time finding machinists uh, sharp pencil was doing some stuff but he's been I'm assuming been pretty busy like the rest of us have been. So uh, anyways, what I did is I bought my own little mini lathe. Came up with a deal I just couldn't couldn't pass up. So what I ended up doing once I got the lathe is I made these two little doodads. And what these are, these are the wing pivot bearing hubs. These will actually hold the, the, the cones for the pivot bearings and the wing panels. So now that I've got these two little things... I can lay up a set of wings because I've been waiting for these in order to do the wings. I didn't want to have a set of wing skins just sitting there wasting away while I had to look for these. So first prototype parts that are machined aluminum, uh, 6061T6, it's aircraft grade stuff. Um, super strong. These are only two and a half ounces, well, a little less than two and a half ounces a piece. So I could take more material out of them. But for the prototype, I just decided to actually a little bit extra. So I got those. Eric J on RCU printed this off for me. This is the exact same thing as the aluminum. This is just 3D plastic, and you can see how much more material is removed from the inside of this one. I think this one might be, even as plastic, this thing is really strong. But the aluminum, I just chose not to suck that much out. Um... Horizontal stabilizer control arm, two inches between the holes for the servo arm. You can run it as push pull or just pull pull, either one, your choice. This will be machined aluminum as well. Um, half of a Bane tire, you can see the detail on this thing. And even this is 3D plastic still, just printed off. And service quality is not the great, but the greatest, but it, uh, it shows you the amount of detail on this thing. So that's the outward facing portion of the main rim. And this is the back side where the, the brake will go. And these actually have a little lip here. You can see the groove to where they lock together and then there'll be a couple screws that hold them together. Pivot bracket. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do these that have aluminum carbon. I'm probably gonna have at least one machined out of aluminum so I can see how it, well first how, how much it's gonna cost and uh, its strength. The SolidWorks uh, stress program says that it should hold plenty of plenty of weight, about 800 pounds of force per bracket before these the bolt holes here for the the pivot axle shaft start to elongate. Again, way overkill for the airplane, but I don't want one to fail. And then the rest of the horizontal stab mechanism. You see, there's the that will this box here will support two ball bearings and the the pivot shaft along with the control arm this thing here with a servo in it is actually your servo mount and it's got 
pretty good leverage. I think this thing's about you no, know, about nine to twelve inches long, and it'll have four bolts here through a bulkhead, another three bolts through here, two eighty-seven eleven or equivalent servos for the stab control, and all, again, all this will be machined aluminum, and probably some extra. I might put another bulkhead from here on both sides of this box here to support it. So that's that. All three D printed parts. Gear door molds are ready to go. I need to put the mold release on there. I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna do this monster tomorrow. Um, over here, first rudder mold is closed up. Yes, that's right. I got the first rudder. It's closed up. It, uh, I could actually probably pop it out now, but I'm gonna wait till in the morning. So I'll pop the video out for you, the camera out for you guys, and let y'all enjoy that little process. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. And my little nifty little contraption here, thanks to an idea from the guys off of RC groups that do a lot of the discus launch gliders. This is my tow wetter. No, uh, none of that squeegee and crap. This thing is, I saw the picture of this and I knew I had to build one. So I took the past hour to do that. So what you got, this is just melon mine board like you got parting planes are made out of that I just had laying left over. Stuck a dial in here to hold a tube with some carbon tow. This is just some 3K stuff. And then this is where all the action happens. All right. So you got your little cup here that you'll put your resin in. And then you've got basically these two loops here are just kind of uh, guide loops. So as you pull the, the tow through, it uh, it keeps everything lined up. The, the little music wire guide here, all the corners of these things are silver soldered so the, the toe doesn't get uh, stuck up in them and torn. But this one is right in line with this little doodad you see, the little shoe I'm going to call it down here in the cup. And what the shoe is, it's just a piece of brass with the, the ends flattened down so it looks like a U. And then I've got it tilted like, tilted like so, so the, the carbon runs under it and then straight up the back side of it. So, and then coming up this back wall here, I got a little squeegee in this arm, which I got to put a, uh, I'm either going to put a hook here and a rubber band to kind of keep some pressure on it, or I might just leave it the way it is, because it actually seems to work pretty good this way. So once you have your resin in here, all you got to do is just grab the end of the, the carbon toe, if I can grab hold of it. And what happens is it just rolls right through. You can barely see it moving there. And then as it comes up the wall, it goes through that squeegee, and it squeegees the epoxy right into the into the carbon tow. So no more pulling a piece out on the table and then brushing some resin on and rolling it real hard. You just pull it straight through, stick it down. Pretty pretty simple. I uh, like I said, I got the idea off of RC groups from the guys in the composite section, and definitely gonna be a time saver when I start doing these these wings. Um, I've got some carbon tow showing up for the wings. I'm probably going to end up buying some more. i got to order some unidirectional carbon fiber for the wing skins. But I've got just about everything to do that. i got to machine up a couple of parts for setting in the carbon tow spars. But uh, hopefully between tomorrow getting that prepped and possibly doing the machine parts for that thing for the, the spar alignment, I'll have... Uh, the majority of everything I need to do a set of wing or a wing panel by the by the end of June work permitting So for y'all wondering where I've been I'm slowly working on stuff uh, again Comments suggestions donations <laughs> Anything is welcome and if you got any questions feel free to email me or or whatever so that's where we're at with the 14. Um, if you guys want to see the whole free coat thing, I'll, I, I can pop in a video, kind of show you what that's all about. It's pretty simple. It's an awesome system. I'll, I'll probably never use wax and PVA again, other than making making the initial mold. But when it comes to parts, I'm a I'm a free coat guy. The guys on RC groups have gotten me converted. So, until tomorrow when I pull this stuff out in that rudder, you guys have a good evening and we'll see you back in the shop.